All right, Babushka, we're back with another tutorial and today we are going to be doing some kinetic typography. This is heavily inspired by the ESPN Monday Night Football kit. It has a lot of moving elements, focuses heavily on typography. I set up a little file that I made in Photoshop. So I just dragged it in into my composition, 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. I took a picture online, just copied and used the pen tool and turned it black and white and messed with the contrast a little bit. And then we have this text. So I'm just going to right click that and create convert to editable text so we can work with it like we want to. First thing I want to do is work on the photo itself. Let's do a scale um, and I'm going to use hold keyframes for this because that's going to make it look really sick. I want to scale it up a bunch. Keyframe to scale and position right there. Go forward a little bit, move them out like that. And then if we select all of them and toggle hold keyframe. So we've got this pretty simple. Just going to move it in a little bit tighter just because we want it kind of quick. And not that tight. I'm gonna add an adjustment layer and add push rise time to it and set that to 12. That's a good, good, good place to start. Throughout this, I want to flat, do a couple of inverts, set that to 100, go one keyframe forward, set that to zero, open up and go couple and do 100 select all of these toggle whole keyframe and just like that we have the base photo animation and that's going to be plenty good for what we're going to do the next step is to take my text animation and i'm actually going to right click on each one one by one and i am going to create a shapes from text this is just going to make it a little bit easier to do some of the movements and stretching and outlines that we want to do it's always a good idea to keep all of your text layers you never know when you might need them but we're just going to put them at the bottom for now so the 15 is going to be pretty simple i want to start with the end of that and i'm just going to only show these so the way i wanted to come in is i wanted to kind of stretch in so if i hit path and keyframe both of these go back a little bit select some of these keyframes or paths stretch that out and then select both back a little bit let's take the one actually close that in a little bit and take some of the five here stretch that out might have to work with some of some of this let's see what we got here move that out a little bit and the bottom looks pretty good and maybe even you know what we can take some of this just move it back a little bit just to make it look a little bit cooler paste and paste and then just take them both actually and just move them out so that should give us something that looks like that and then if we select them toggle hold keyframe just like that we have a pretty cool little coming animation with some smiths which looks pretty sick and we might even condense these a little bit next up we are going to do the mahomes part for this one i'm going to use the motion tools which is a free plugin if you don't know about this check out my plugin video it'll be linked um somewhere so i'm going to extract each of these just so we can work with it a little bit easier search for path while having them all selected and keyframe all of that good stuff and just select them all, hit U to bring up the keyframes, and I'm just gonna hide all of this. I like this O and I want to work with it a little bit. So I think having it come upwards would work pretty well. I'm gonna go back a couple of keyframes and, or, and a couple of frames, I should say. And let's zoom in a little bit and take some of this, stretch it down maybe, have this come like way, way down type thing. Sharpen the edge of this maybe a little bit. Um, the A, let's close up the A maybe and select all of this, drag it down to be roughly the same length. The H, oh, I love the H. The H is a good shape. Drag this down and let's also do, let's drag that down and then the O, which is my favorite one of these, select this and drag it down. I love the way this O looks when it's stretched out. Same for the M again, stretch that down. But this time we're gonna leave that normally. The E, select these points, move them down, and then this come like way down here. The S, wonder how that's gonna look. Oh, that's a little funky, we can fix that. Now I'm gonna copy all of these because I want the letters to be in the regular position but I am gonna scooch them all down. Click all to bring on my rulers just so I can match it pretty good. And set that, so I'll go back here. Click on my path, 
move it down and then go back a couple more frames and then let's take this M and stretch it out a little bit. Keyframe all of these once again and go back and then I'm just gonna copy that. Move that way out here. Take the A, move that out. H, move that out. But let's give it just a little bit of a, a funny shape. Take the O, let's move that. But let's see if we can, oh yeah. Oh yeah, move that over. Okay, and lastly, we want copy and paste all of this, but let's have some fun. Why not? And the S, select all these keyframes, right click, toggle hold, and let's crunch them in a little bit. Pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent. Okay, let's undo that, and let's just look at what we have so far. So we have text coming in feels pretty chaotic now which is perfect that's exactly what this style calls for lastly we have the patrick and for this i want to keep it kind of simple I think what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a i'm going to open up the path of course i'm just going to keyframe all of that and go back a little bit select some of this do some trippy like that go forward a little bit take all of these move them like that and select these keyframes, right click, toggle hold, and maybe select these and offset them by two, set that to a random, sequence that. Now we have something that looks pretty wicked. That is fire, honestly. Okay, unhide that. Let's play back. We have the Mahomes text coming in, the 15. We have the little Patrick, Mah Patrick up there coming in. I wanted to come in just a little bit later even. So right about here. Next thing that we want to do is add some outlines to it and change the color a little bit just to make it pop just that bit more. For the 15, we can start with that. Um, starting green, go forward, open up the parameters in here and go to, let's see if we can just search for color. So with the fill colors, keyframe we can go forward until the next frame and then we are going to change it to a whitish color so f0 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 is a pretty nice color set that to that so now we get whoops the whole keyframes zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing so come in green right here i want it to flash to stroke next thing we're going to do is do the stroke opacity the stroke we want to be the green color i think so I'm just going to pick with that color and copy and same with this one. We're just going to unhide them so we can see what we're actually doing here. Now we can go to U and for the opacity, one keyframe is at 100 right here. We want it to be at zero. Select both of these, right click on them, toggle hold keyframes. So we have that right there. And then we also, of course, have to change the fill color to also switch at the same time. So the fill color opacity and opacity hit you to bring up the keyframes go forward one frame set both of those to zero select them right click and toggle hold keyframes so now they'll switch so now we have and then we want it to switch pretty soon again so coming right back we are going to set that 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 and that so it kind of flashes for the Patrick, we are gonna do the color change. So I'll just search color, keyframe, all of those fill colors. Hit you And you could, of course, just add a fill effect for this one, for example, just to make it easy on yourself. But if you want to do different colors for each letter, it's a good way of doing this because otherwise fill is just fills the whole thing. Let's go back a couple frames, set that to the white. So F0, 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 F0 and copy that. And you can just paste that to each one of these. Let's do copy that go one frame back and copy the green again select all of it right click toggle whole keyframe and now we should have a little color switch thing so i'm going to select all of this move it up here and boom spread it out just a little bit i think okay so now the only thing we have left is the mahomes text which is also we're also going to be doing some outline stuff for this we of course don't want it to be the exact same as the green so maybe we'll have it come in at f0 have it start with that cut it right here one frame to come in so now let's do the color and we are just going to keyframe the color for each one of these so hit you and then go a couple frames forward. Then let's take that green from up here. So now we have white, green, and then let's change it to the 
stroke show the stroke on all of these so keyframe the stroke color let's set that to the f0 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 so just alternating the colors forward a couple frames change that to the green go forward a couple and then change fill to the f0 and of course back to the green now we can select all of these keyframes and we can toggle hold the keyframes. The last thing that we have to do is now we've got this color change going on. Now we need to, again, we got to do the stroke thing. So we can open up the stroke and the fill. Fill opacity right here will go from 100 to zero and the stroke opacity will go the opposite way. And then if we hit U, we can take these, toggle hold, copy and paste, copy and paste, and select them. Right click, time reverse keyframes, and then just go back. So that is the first letter done. Now that I have finished outlining all of these, because that was very tedious, we can look back at our entire piece as it stands right now. We have this little animation, some crazy color flashes and whatnot. There's a couple more things that I want to add to it. I want to make it a little bit crazier and I want to use some time displacement and add some textures to it to really get it all coming together. First and foremost, we're going to be adding some texture to Patrick Mahomes himself. Shout out the goat. So I'm just going to add a noise HLS and I'm going to set that to green and then just increase it a good bit and maybe set that to 0.5 decrease it a little bit but this is just to give him some nice texture and just make it you know a little bit crazy and maybe reduce the animation speed to 12 maybe even 6 honestly that looks pretty good next thing is i want to add some liquify to some of these elements just to make him look a little bit crazier so i'm gonna pre comp each individual one i'm gonna do the 15 i'm gonna do the mahomes and the patrick first one which is the mahomes i am gonna add liquify and we're just gonna Go back maybe around here, increase my brush size, and I'm just gonna warp it around a little bit and just make some, just add a little bit of craziness to it. We don't want it to be too crazy, but just a little bit more, a little bit more oomph, you know? Mess it up a little bit. So playing that back, some wicked stuff here, boom. And then we can keyframe the distortion percentage, so keyframe right here. Go forward to about here, set that to zero, and now playing that back maybe even smooth it out a little bit more so it gradually changes can even add maybe some wave warp to it so let's do the wave width let's increase that by a whole bunch just a little bit less and set that to zero right here i just want to set that to zero as it goes over to that and we can of course do that same thing to the 15 now the patrick is already pretty messed up so i don't know we'll do much to that but the 15 we can definitely add some liquify so let's see comes in right here add liquify once again and maybe even increase it a bit more and just kind of move that around do some stuff to make it look a little bit crazy and go forward so right here Push it around a little bit again. Again, keyframe the distortion percentage and set that to zero. So we just get a little bit of that crazy look and we can even copy the wave warp from this to our 15 outline. As I mentioned, I wanna do some time displacement too. So for that, we're gonna need a gradient map. I have this one texture from Texture Labs that I think I'm gonna use. Um, it's just some some grunge something so I'm gonna add a time displacement see what that looks like set that to our texture labs and set the time resolution to 24 frames per second might have to do a 0.5 on that and let's add another texture for the Mahomes just to keep it a little bit different and then I'm just gonna copy this time this I'm actually gonna move it all the way above and paste and also move this above it shouldn't change too much of it, but just enough. And then select the other, other texture we have. I'm gonna set that to 0 0.1 just to get, I don't want a whole bunch of that, but the texture of it is so nice. And it looks, I mean, this is, this is wicked. I'm also gonna add a regular displacement. So I'm just gonna displace my map. And for this, I'm just gonna use this half tone pattern also from Texture Labs that I have. And if I go to the Mahomes where I added it, set that to the top displacement map effects and masks 
and let's set that to one and one maybe just for a little bit extra extra texture on on the edges copy that and paste that to the 15 also so this is a pretty textured pretty sick look honestly um, i'm wondering what this will look like at six frames per second i think i like that even more honestly just gives it that little bit extra smear look type of thing and i am really digging this especially this texture right here i might even try it for the 15 um if you go in and select that one and then do a maybe a point one. Oh yeah that's that's money right there let's try point two i'm i'm just curious at this point oh yeah that's perfect little animation itself i want to add a couple more things like texture so i'm gonna add an oval uh, noise hls auto set that to green maybe do like a four four six ish maybe and set that to 0.5 duplicate it set the animation speed to 12 and 1.5 and maybe like a three and then i have these particle uh this the pre-made particles as you might have seen in most of my other videos i'm just going to reverse that one white particles have a black background so set that to let's say add black particles have a white background set that to multiply sorry i'm going to drag my post rest time on the top of everything and i'm gonna add another one i'm gonna add a transform set the scale to 101 and then alt click the position do post rest time six and then wiggle maybe we'll do a 15 comma three just seeing what that looks like and that is a pretty solid look right there and that is the end of my little smear kinetic typography with some text elements i don't even know really what to call this but i love this effect it's a little bit of everything really a lot of texture going on which as you guys should know uh, i'm a big fan of so with that being said i just want to say thank you very much for following along hopefully you learned something new or got some inspiration to create something on your own and uh i'll see you again next week so thank you for watching and uh